The flight touched down around 10.15 and was met on the tarmac by a number of government and tourism officials. Among them, Minister of State in the Ministry of Foreign Trade and Business, Sandra Husbands. And after assisting in cutting the ribbon to welcome the new airline, she told the gathering Barbados is limited by land size, population and resources, and working with others is very important. She hailed today as an important day for Suriname, Guyana and Barbados. The advent of Suriname Airways is a vital part of what we are doing here together. And what is it we're doing? We're not sitting belly aching about all the other people who won't give us connectivity. We are looking at what we have in the region. What are the airlines that are available to us and how can we redeploy them in a way to ensure that we're able to build the connectivity that will give us the trade and the tourism which we need to be able to give our people a good life. And that is why today is a wonderful moment. Suriname's Minister of Economic Affairs, Rashma Kuldip Singh, said as members of CARICOM, Suriname and Barbados enjoys a long relationship and today's exercise is another step to solidify that relationship. With this inauguration, inaugural flight from our national carrier Suriname Airways SLM, we are taking steps forward in our commitment to strengthen the bilateral trade relations with Barbados. Both countries have committed to a list of products that can enter the respective mark of Barbados and Suriname. Suriname is grateful for the efforts made by Barbados to facilitate this inaugural flight as we move forward with our bilateral relations as a beacon of regional integration and cooperation to manifest sustainable economic growth for our respective countries and the region as a whole. Acting Chief Executive Officer of Suriname Airways, Captain Steven Ganesh, said today marks the beginning of lots of opportunities for the countries and the strengthening of other travel initiatives. Suriname Airways is with its almost 62 years of existence amongst the oldest airlines in the region. This brings with its enormous experience, but also lots of challenges behind us and many more challenges to come. But all these challenges we face with a positive spirit. This new route, which was a request out of Barbados, but also on the planning for Suriname Airways, is another important step to promote the CARICOM spirit, create better connectivity and cooperation. Acting Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Incorporated, Craig Hines, spoke of the itinerary of the new service. Starting from today, December the 20th, 2023, Suriname Airways will operate two flights a week, offering convenient connections on Wednesdays and Sundays. This flight will create connections between Barbados, Suriname, Guyana, and, as we haven't mentioned before, Latin America. The aircraft of choice for this exciting venture is a Boeing 737-800, equipped with 12 business 42 premium economy and 96 economy seats. This modern and comfortable aircraft will ensure a pleasurable journey for, for all our visitors both in both directions. Local agriculture is expected to benefit greatly from the new air service. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.